Happening right now, Greenville County Council is discussing a controversial ordinance that would stop bar or club owners from selling alcohol after 2 a.m. Council says it is a public safety issue. Owners say it would hurt their business. Our Erin Rogers is at County Square where that meeting is going on, and she has the latest. The ordinance as it stands passed through the Public Safety Committee last month. Now tonight, the entire council will be discussing it, and whatever they decide could become law after tonight's meeting. It's a familiar sight, blue lights and club parking lots. It's why county lawmakers thought there needed to be a change. I received uh, several calls from mothers who have lost sons um, in nightclub shootings. In 2017, Greenville County deputies responded to more than 200 calls between the hours of 2 and 6 a.m. at nearly 20 clubs that are open late. They say every time they turn the news on and see another child shot at one of these clubs, it makes them relive the death and funeral of their own child over and over again. And that gives me great pause and great concern that I didn't have originally. Tonight, County Council will be voting again. This version won't allow people to consume or buy alcohol after 2 a.m. at clubs and bars, but it will still allow the businesses to stay open late. They're band-aiding the problem and not fixing the problem. Stop serving at 2 is not going to make you know, from what they say, crime rate go down. I think it's just going to shift the time of the crime rate. County Council is still somewhat split on the issue. Some agree with how the ordinance is currently written. Then you have some that want to do fines per call or per incident after 2 a.m., which seems a little cumbersome to try to pull off. And some think the bars and clubs should just close period at 2 a.m. because they question enforcement. If you say you can stay open but you can't serve alcohol, if you don't have a deputy sitting there watching your liquor license, who's going to stop it? The sheriff's office says they work with SLED and do random checks. And even though the calls now tie up deputies, they say there's no guarantee changing it will help the problem. They might still continue staying there or they might leave and go to, to other places, which brings the calls to other locations. Greenville City allows officers to work side security jobs at approved bars and clubs. Right now, the sheriff's office says their attorney is looking into whether deputies could be able to do the same. In Greenville, I'm Erin Rogers, 7 News.